Hi, I'm Ashley Callahan. And I'm Sarah Idacavage. And we're here to introduce the Frankie dress. So she introduced this dress in 1964. It was inspired in part by kimonos. And also it was a dress that she had created so that she could teach students about different historic waistlines. And so the Frankie dress is a pretty simple design, flat front and back. And then you can tie it many different ways, and that was one of the appealing things for marketing this dress. So you could do a very simple, loose tie in the front. You could also do just a simple tie in the back, and then you can bring it around to the front to tie it, or you could tie it a little bit lower and have a more natural waistline. And there was one reporter who said that the Frankie dress had been to more White House dinners than any other dress and that women attending the same party didn't mind running into other women wearing Frankies because they all looked different depending on how it was tied and what the fabrics were. Another way to tie it would be to do a crisscross. So you could crisscross it and then crisscross it in the back again and bring it around to the front to tie it. And then you could do a crisscross and tie it in the back as well. So the most Frankie advertised was that, at one time, was that a Frankie could be tied eight different ways. But in looking at all the historical records, there are many more ways. She even tied it sometimes on the arm. Wow. <laughs> so you would, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so then when you walk around, you could be nice and dramatic, scooping your elegant fabric out as you go along. So the Frankie was this super versatile dress that she sold from the mid-60s into about the late 80s. She sold thousands of them over the years in lots of different fabrics. Sometimes she used plain fabrics. She also used yardage of her scarves to make a lot of Frankies. So we're just excited to celebrate the Frankie dress. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs>